Well, Andrew, uh, how would you rate this season so far? Two, two and three on the year, but what are the challenges that you faced and what are some of the things you've accomplished uh, with this team in general that you're proud of so far? Yeah, um, I think to start the season off in our home opener, um, it was a great way to start, um, especially over the last two seasons before um, we didn't get that first win. So mm -hmm. it was a great start, but I think we've We've fallen off in a way. Uh, I think we've missed out on a lot of games where we could have secured a couple more points. Um, so part of that, I think, has been a little bit unlucky in the way we've conceded at times. Um, but also, I think we're, we're just shy of um, putting together a performance where we're beating teams by multiple goals consistently. So I think we're just missing that little piece. Yeah, I feel like after every presser, if the game didn't go your way, coach is always like, well, I think we still should have won. Like the team that lost is the team that, that should have won. So right. what is he doing for this club as far as confidence and kind of uh, changing the momentum and, and getting you guys where you, you want to be as a, as a club? Yeah, I think he does a great job of uh, putting confidence in us, regardless of how we're really doing. He'll, he'll tell us when it's poor, but at the same time, he does a good job of inspiring us, motivating us before we go on the pitch. Um, so I think that goes a long way. Um, and I think it's starting to come out that, you know, we need a bit more. Um, so I think we're ready for that, especially going into this stretch of six out of our eight um, games will be at home mm -hmm. upcoming. So I think that's going to be a big part with the fans behind us and get into a, a good flow of, of performances. Now you just mentioned that six of your next eight matches are at home. Uh, you get a chance to play in front of this amazing supporter mm -hmm. section that Charlotte FC has. What does it do for you when you know you're going into the fortress, you, you have a home match at the bank, and you know that supporter section is behind you? How much does that lift you guys and give you that extra boost that you need? Yeah, I mean, they bring so much energy for us, um, and you can see it so far in the results. Right. You know, uh, we've been almost, almost perfect at home so far. Um, haven't really dropped any significant points, haven't taken a loss, um, so undefeated. Um, so I think that goes a long way and gives us a lot of confidence going into the matches. Um, so we just have to bring it, and I think, I think it'll be good for us down the stretch. Do you think it is the, the fans and the supporters section that makes the difference? Obviously, like you mentioned, the record much better at home than it is right. on the road. So is it just the comfortability of being at home? Is it knowing that you have this unique atmosphere in the MLS with your supporters section? What is it that makes the difference, that makes the result at home so much yeah, better? Yeah, I would, I would say they're best in the league. And I think just from them, I think it's just energy. Mm -hmm. Energy um, from them, you know, is instilled in us as we play. So that goes, you know, a very, very long way from the start of the game from kickoff to maybe the last two or three minutes. Yeah, so. and for you, obviously switching roles this year and then yes. playing every minute after making that switch. So what has this adjustment been like for you in, in your second year in the league? Yeah, I know last year was a lot of just learning the position, getting used to you know going from a midfielder to a defender, that position change and just picking up on the little detail of what makes you know a center back rather than a a defensive midfielder um, and this year I think is of course still learning but really trying to perfect and grow um, in that role um, and I think so far um, under our new system it's been an easier transition um, becoming like a sole center back rather than kind of doing two roles at once so it's mm -hmm. kind of simplified my job um, which of course makes it a bit easier. Yeah, so. is there one teammate that you're leaning on to, to help with that change or is it coach or, or who's kind of been your, your biggest supporter and your biggest, I guess, advocate and the, and the person you're leaning on the most? Yeah, I mean, uh, a Dean was a center back as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, you pick up a lot of, uh, you know, little tricks and, and tips here and there. Um, he has great advice and our assistant coach, Pa, he does a great job with me as well. Um, and then on the field, leaning on a deal. Um, who's been my partner so far. Mm -hmm. So um, learning a lot from him last year, playing beside him. Um, so just learning from him as, as we go and building that experience and that connection. Yeah, and going from your rookie season to your sophomore season, what has the biggest change been for you? What has life in the MLS been like for you? Is it everything you thought it would be? What, but what are the adjustments that you're making and just how would you kind of rate it so far? Yeah, I think uh, as a rookie, it can it's definitely tough. Um, but you come in and I'd say you kind of start off trying to survive at first mm -hmm. and you kind of grow in your own way into the team. Um, and in my case, got fortunate enough to, to get a chance and took it well. So couldn't have asked for a better start there. Um, and then now going into, our, into my second year, um, you know, maintaining that spot and really growing into, you know, more, more of a consistent player and also someone who's going to grow and, and fit into the team that, and kind of build into that leadership. Yeah, spot and then, where I can really hold my own. There. Absolutely, yeah. and, and a great captain in Ashley West. When you talk about leadership, but yeah. what does he mean to this club? Oh, so much. Um, he's just an unbelievable captain, first and foremost. Unbelievable person. Um, he's been in my corner a lot, and 
can't thank him enough for that, but also learning from him a, a ton. Yeah. Um, so he's great to have him around and great to have him in my corner as well. So really appreciate him so far. For sure. Then just looking ahead to this weekend, uh, your opponent in that match, what do you see and, and how are you guys preparing for that? Yeah, so we've already faced him once this season and, you know, didn't go too well. Got a bit unfortunate. Um, it's an A hit a unbelievable strike on us. Um, so we just want to get back at them. Um, we know how they play and, and what worked well against them. So we want to repeat that. And I think in front of our fans will we'll give us that edge for sure. All right, Andrew, appreciate yeah. your time. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs>